At 4 a.m. on the morning of March the 28th, 1979, a combination of human and mechanical error led to the worst nuclear accident in U.S. history. But the truth is, it wasn't really that bad. It happened at the Three Mile Island nuclear power plant just outside of Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, and it would drastically escalate the public's distrust towards nuclear power literally overnight. In the end, the accident led to no deaths and no injuries to plant workers or the nearby community. If you camped out at the Three Mile Island plant during the accident, you'd have received only an additional 80 milligrams of exposure to ionizing radiation during the duration of the accident. For reference, if you've ever had your spine x-rayed, you've received about double that just during the few seconds of the x-ray. If you were around 10 miles away from the reactor during the accident, you'd have received about 8 milligrams, which is about the equivalent radiation of eating 800 bananas, which are naturally radioactive. The Nuclear Regulatory Commission NRC, the Environmental Protection Agency EPA, the Department of Energy, as well as other independent groups conducted studies in the aftermath of the accident and came to the conclusion that for people living near the reactor, the average person's exposure to radiation was negligible. It was stated that in spite of serious damage to the reactor's core, no adverse health effects to humans, animals, or the environment could be attributed to the accident at Three Mile Island. Needless to say, public reaction to the Three Mile Island incident went extremely overboard from what the actual event warranted. This was largely due to misinformation in the press, misunderstanding of ionizing radiation among the general public, and the fact that not 12 days before it happened, the movie The China Syndrome was released. The plot of the movie was how unsafe nuclear reactors were, with just about everyone in the movie but one of the main characters trying to cover it up. The China Syndrome movie's titles concept comes from the premise that if an American nuclear reactor were to melt down, it would melt through the center of the Earth to China. Getting around the fact that it is actually roughly the Indian Ocean that is on the opposite side of the Earth from the United States, not China, and the obvious problems with the melt through the Earth premise, it couldn't have been a better timed movie as for free advertisement through the press due to the Three Mile Island incident. The movie was even nominated for several Academy Awards, including Best Actress for Jane Fonda. So, well, what happened to cause the actual accident? The short of it is this. An unfortunate combination of sticky valves, someone checking on the gauges without their glasses on, and a few bad calls leading to a partial meltdown, which in turn led to the release of radioactive gases into the atmosphere. The radiation leak it wasn't discovered until March the 30th, and at that time local residents were advised not to leave their homes. There was uncertainty among experts if the hydrogen bubble created by the core materials and the superhot steam could cause further meltdown or even perhaps a giant explosion. As a precautionary measure, Governor Thornburg stated, among other things, that pregnant women and preschool-aged children leave the area within a five-mile radius of the Three Mile Island facility until further notice. His statement did not have the effect of avoiding a panic as he had hoped. A visit from President Jimmy Carter, a former nuclear engineer who helped dismantle a damaged nuclear reactor while serving in the Navy, did help a little more, but it couldn't quite quell the overall distrust in nuclear power that the U.S. now had. This is despite the fact that nuclear power, then as now, is one of the most environmentally friendly forms of electricity production. For reference, by the way, according to a paper published by the Clean Air Task Force, approximately 24,000 people in the US alone die every year from emissions from coal power plants. Further, coal power plants release approximately 100 times more ionizing radiation per year as an equivalent, in terms of output in wattage, nuclear power plants. And that's not even getting in to the carbon emissions. So I really hope you found that video interesting. If you did, please do give us a thumbs up below. Don't forget to subscribe. This is a new channel that really helps. We have videos on a semi-regular basis, but they're not quite regular just yet. So if you subscribe, hit that notification bell. You'll learn about those when they come out. And as always, thank you for watching.